hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thank you so much for stopping by my name is Pisayo Patrick and in this video I'm going to be talking about five questions to answer to help you grow your digital business so whether you are just about to start a digital business or you already have a digital business and you're looking to scale if you um, correctly answer these five questions you're on your path to success so let's go right to the questions and the first question you need to ask yourself is am i investing in my growth it's a very honest question and as a business owner you need to understand that your business can never grow more than the level of your growth if you are not growing your business is dying so take a look at people who work in um, the corporate world people who work in paid employment you realize that the more they invest in their um, career the more they invest in their growth um, the, the higher they climb in the on the corporate ladder so you can also apply the same principle to your business the more you grow as the business owner the better your business grows so which areas do you really need to invest in you need to invest in your knowledge of the business whatever business that you have decided to do you need to learn all that all there is about that business you need to know how to you need to know the you know nitty-gritty of the business so for instance if you want to do maybe drop shipping you can't just start doing drop shipping without learning about it so you need to go to Google read stuff watch videos listen to people who are already in the business or look for somebody who is already succeeded in the business and just let them be like a mentor to you or just go through their process and apply it to your own so you need to invest in your knowledge of the business also you need to invest in your education so being educated getting certified sort of invalidates you as a business owner so if you need to do your master's then you should if you need to take courses if you need to do certifications that will you know help you build credibility in that business you need to do it too and the third um, area that you should invest in is your communication skills you need to grow you need to brush up your communication skills you need to be able to write because in business you do a lot of writing you do a lot of emails business letters you, know, you need to learn how to write you need to learn how to construct words write um, the correct vocabulary convince people with your words you know be nice and professional you need to know how to write professionally as well and also you need to grow your public speaking skills because once in a while you might need to go live on social media you might also need to speak to a group of people you need to be able to do that without fail so the second question you should ask yourself is do i know all there is about growing an online business so it's one thing to learn about growing a particular business a certain business you want to do i i, I use drop shipping as an example so it's one thing to learn all there is about the drop shipping business it's another thing to learn all there is about growing a business online because it's different than growing you know maybe a physical business i mean it's similar um, skills similar knowledge and information but to grow business online you need to know how to do that i'm talking about figuring out who your target audience is figuring out where they are and how to speak to them figuring out how to influence them through your words developing the, a good you know cohesive brand that will attract these people to you you also need to learn skills like copywriting content creation digital marketing time management customer service and so on so it's not difficult you can start by reading stuff online watching videos as well and you know the more you do it the better you get but you need to invest in yourself and you also need to know all there is about growing a business online so the third thing you need to know do i have the tools necessary to grow an online business online business tools are very crucial in the life of every digital business owner so you need to know what they are and how to use them so for instance you need graphic design softwares you need to know how to use email marketing softwares you know you need to know how to use google workspace which includes you know all the google drive elements you also need to know how to use zoom 
Calendly, financial management systems and things like that, you have to learn how to use these tools. There's a tool for everything you want to do. There's, a, there's, a, there's an app for everything you want to do. Some are free, some are premium. It is your job as the digital business owner to find out what these tools are and figure out how to use them. The fourth question you need to ask yourself is, have I identified my strengths and weaknesses? You need to conduct this SWOT analysis and I'm sure that everybody is familiar with it. Your strengths, your weakness, your opportunities and threats for that digital business that you are doing or that you want to do. So what are your strengths? What are you good at? What can you use to your advantage? For me, okay, so what I'm good at is I love to learn and apply. I really like to learn. I'm always learning the new thing. And it works for me because I learn something new, I apply it, I teach people, I use it for people, it produces um, results for me. So what are your strengths? What do you think that you are good at, that you can leverage for your business with? No matter weakness, what are your weaknesses? So for me, I kind of procrastinate get but i'm working on it and i don't capitalize on that weakness so that it doesn't overwhelm me so what are your weaknesses and how can you ensure that they don't overwhelm or overcome you in business number three opportunities what opportunities can you leverage on what opportunities do you have so for me again um i started my online business as um, a volunteer service in my church and that was okay so i already knew that i wanted to do digital marketing right do online business so when i started doing that it sort of opened me up to new things and it sort of helped me build my portfolio and to me it was an opportunity for me to grow so what opportunities do you have to grow finally what are the threats what is the threat to your business to your online business number one other competitors are your threats Number two, you know, social media platforms going down <laughs> are not that threat. So just figure out what those things are, your SWOT analysis, and you know, you're good to go. The fifth question, the last question to ask is, do I have a learning budget and a learning plan? So remember the first thing, you need to invest in your growth, you need to invest in your knowledge and your education. So, what is your learning budget? If you're making maybe uh, if you want and fifty thousand naira every month, at least, at least maybe like 30, 20 percent should go into learning, paying for online courses, paying for trainings, going for trainings, going for seminars. Going, going to places that will help you build your um, knowledge. So you need to have a learning budget. You also need to have a learning plan. How often will you um, learn? How do you, how will you structure your learning plan? You can do monthly, okay? This month I want to learn Photoshop, or this month I want to learn how to use Canva, or this month I want to learn how to use Google Workspace, or this week, I want to learn everything I can about email marketing. You need to have a learning plan. If you don't actively put a learning plan into your schedule, you won't have time for it, and a business owner needs to grow. So those are the five questions you should ask yourself. And, um, you know, it's a continuous process. It's not something you do once and you forget about it. As you grow in the business, you need to come back to these questions and ask yourself again, and you need to do a lot of research. You need to have a research plan and a research budget as well. Wait, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. If you love what I said, please like and subscribe. Also, drop your comments below. Follow me on social media at Sarah Patrick One. I'll see you in the next video.